Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Rootcode with Requesty. Um, when you sign up to Requesty, you'll come to this onboarding page. Uh, what you'll do is click on Client or Rootcode um, in here. What's really important now is that you're going to create an API key. You can also see all the different models that we support um, directly in the default model. So let's create an API key, call it Rootcode, uh, and we're going to copy this. Don't worry, I'm going to delete this key after this uh, video. It says you're all set. Now I'm going to go to root code and I'm going to come here. You can make different configuration profiles uh, in your code, which is really help helpful. Then in the API provider, you're going to choose requesty um, and then you're going to enter your API key just right there. Now for this test, I'm going to use Anthropic uh, Summit latest. Uh, I'm going to click save and done. Um, and now what I'm going to do is say, uh, please uh, write a snake game in Python just one file um, uh, and there we go that's as simple as it is now it's going to go to request to Anthropic and getting you all the code you need to uh, create a snake game basically um, in Python now going back to request you can see all models um, so basically these are all the models that we provide uh, you can see a list here top 47 deep seek uh, there's about 150 models that we serve uh, right now today uh, and what's really helpful as well is that we show user stats uh, of our users, like what models are people using for uh, which type of development, so front-end, back-end, data as it develops, and so on. You can also filter based on your requirements. Now, let's go to the Manage API. You can see we've already spent nine cents with Rucode on our uh, fun little snake game. So here we go. Uh, we see 28,000 uh, tokens in total. Um, and then we can see here, uh, we're ready to play the game, uh, has coded everything, etc. Now, what I'm going to show you is some uh, actually pretty cool features is you can see this exactly in our logs. So you can see the cost in the logs, um, basically, so here's a, please write a snake game. So everything is logged for if you have errors, you can disable the logs right here if needed. But what I wanted to show you is to, um, really interesting features. So the first one is policy. So you can create a policy, we've created one for you, called DeepSeek R1 Reliable. The goal with a policy is that, for example, on this policy, we have a fallback, meaning if the first provider doesn't respond, we will go to the second one and the same with the third one. And you can add as many models as you want. So if you want to use R1, you could say, I want to go directly to DeepSeek first, then to Nebus, then to DeepSeek, for example. You can also do load balancing, meaning that you can just distribute uh, through the ones, it will just do it randomly based on, uh, not randomly, but based on these percentages. Um, what's even more interesting, I think, is configure features. So what is configure features? Uh, we've added a bunch of optimizations uh, for systems like Rucode and for Climb. So for Rucode, um, Gosu Coder actually made a really cool system prompt that reduces the system prompt by 90% if you don't use MCP servers. So that's really important. So if you just click this here, you can see API key updated successfully. So you can see we have one feature enabled, which is the GoSu coder. If we now go back to our root code and we're gonna take the exact same task. Now, what we need to remember is 28.9K. That's the amount of input tokens um, that we had for our snake game. Uh, and it costs about 11 cents in total. Now, if we create a new task uh, and we do the exact same prompt, but we've automatically enabled um, the Gosu Coder system prompt. Let's see what happens. Maybe I should delete this file so it doesn't go and look at it. Um, so let's do the exact same prompt and see what happens. Um, so straight away, what I can see is that it's way faster, which probably means the system prompt uh, is working, uh, meaning it's, it's quite a bit smaller. It's about 90% smaller. So I don't know, I should have executed the code before, but uh, just look at out input and output um, and we'll see what happens. So now it's writing the code for the snake game. Um, and let's see what happens. It's creating a, a game loop. Interesting. Seems like a lot of code for a snake game. And boom, we are ready to go. Made a snake game, user edits, explained everything. Uh, let's see, and we're at 9K. Wow, that is very interesting. 
So from 11 cents to 3 cents uh, with this new uh, system prompt. So that is that is a huge improvement. Um, we still have to run the commands, but just wanted to show you how you can optimize uh, your root code experience uh, using requesting.